everyone, it's Hannah and you're seeing my face for the first time in a long time. I don't know why I just haven't filmed in front of the camera in a while. I just haven't. Oh, hair. Today I'm coming at you with too much makeup on because I liked it. I did my makeup today because I thought why not, I haven't worn makeup in a while. And then I went a bit overboard and now I have a lot of stuff on my face. But hey, that's the way life is. We deal with it, we move on and we embrace it or something. So today, I have a Q&A video for you because it's been a hot minute since one of them. Well, before Christmas, and Christmas was what? Two months away? Oh my God. That's ridiculous. I asked on Instagram, or I did a post on Instagram saying, ask your questions, so I'm gonna answer them. Mini Cooper asks, what was the first type of craft you got into and what? was the first friendship bracelet you made and can you show it? The first friendship bracelet, or the first craft I got into, I did a lot of card making and stamping when I was seven or eight. And around the same time I did actually get into making friendship bracelets. The first friendship bracelet I made was blue and red and I think it was one of those Chinese staircase ones but I didn't fully understand how to do it and it was just a massive mess and horrible. But it was from one of those Crayola friendship bracelet kits. Anyway, I don't have it, I can't show you it because I don't know where it is. But here is a lovely picture of a friendship bracelet that I have made in the past. See how scruffy it is? And I remade it, and it's here. McKelvey underscore Julia, who is one of my friends, so thanks, Julia. In terms of your crafts, what are you most proud of? And in terms of your life, what are you most proud of? In terms of my crafts, I am most proud of my doily, which I will show. I show this off every second I can. Mainly because it took such a long time to make. In terms of life, that's a tough one. I'm really proud that I actually moved abroad. Is that a stupid thing to be proud of? Like, it's a really scary thing to do, and I know that, you know, I'm not big, I'm not really, I don't know, embracing my, I'm not not embracing my life out here, but like I don't have a job and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think either moving abroad or getting a degree, those are the two things that immediately spring to mind. So the first part of this question I don't quite understand. It's from KK M Manana. And it says, what are you standing in put you are? I don't fully understand that question, that's fine. But the next part is what's the best part of living there? And I'm gonna miss you, I'm going to answer this being like, what's the best part in living in Germany? Um, Food? The food. I'm definitely gonna have to say the food. I love German food. There are not enough German restaurants in England, which is stupid because English people would love German food. MCRJP1247, who asks a lot of questions, or who are often asks questions for my Q&A. Thanks, Matt. He asks, do you speak any other languages? I do, I speak German and French, and obviously English as well. And what is your favourite craft at the moment and could you make some sewing tutorials in the future? My favourite craft at the moment, I've actually started beading again just out of sheer pleasure. And I made the Instagram logo in Square Stitch, which was fun. Can I make some sewing tutorials in the future? Yes, they are, hopefully, if I work out how to do it, there should be one coming up on Sunday. Get your felt ready. Shay6567, if you weren't in the crafting business, what other career would you have pursued? So I always wanted to be a teacher and then I grew up and realized that no, I can't be bothered with other people's brightage kids, so not teaching. Um, the ultimate goal, I don't plan, I don't know what I plan to do with my YouTube channel full time. And I can't stop playing with my hair because I washed it today so it's soft. I really want to open my own tea room. That is the ultimate goal in my life. That is, at the, well, that's my ultimate career goal in my life, is to open a tea room and run it and, and love it. Pearl of Be Crazy 2016, can you do a giveaway? I just want to address, just address this. Giveaways cost money, regardless. So even if I send you things that I've made, it still costs me money. At the moment, my job is sitting in front of a camera, recording myself, editing it, and putting it online. I have less than 15,000 subscribers at the moment. Most of my views get around a thousand views, if not less. I don't make much money. I don't even make enough to contribute to rent. The money I make at the moment goes back into my YouTube channel. Yeah? I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna come off as ranty. I really want to do giveaways for you guys and I want to give you all these things because 
your support and your love and your and your and your commitment all means so much to me and I would love to give everyone all the presents in the world. Truth is, I'm broke. I can't buy loads of things and give them away just for the hell of it. So it makes me feel bad when people ask for a giveaway because I can't. And also it's just really bad manners to ask for a giveaway. My next giveaway, blah, 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 my next giveaway will be when I hit 50,000 subscribers. So if you want a giveaway, share my channel around, get that subscriber count up. I'm already putting things aside for a giveaway, just, you know, a little bit at a time. But that is when my next giveaway is, yes, <laughs> basically. Cross and Rhino. <clears throat> I know you said you've studied languages in school, but if you could learn any other language, what would it be? Bonus question, what is your favourite word to say in another language other than English? For instance, her favourite French word is pomplumus. Hmm, good choice of word, it's really satisfying to say. So, um, I really want to learn Spanish because I just think it'll be really useful. I took Spanish for a year, I did really, really well, and then I dropped it and now I've forgotten most of it and it's really, really sad. Bonus question, what's the favourite word to say in another language? Literally, all words in a different language have left my brain. I'm just gonna think about this for a minute. One has sprung to mind. So, Germans are wonderful people. They love their compound nouns, um, which is basically nouns made up of two things that are then put together to make one thing. So, this is gonna be really stupid. It's not my favorite German word to say just because it's nice to say. My favorite English word to say, by the way, is Obelisk or lugubrious, those are two amazing words. Obelisk is like a statuey thing, and lugubrious is an adjective to mean mournful or gloomy, and I feel like I'm getting a cold. Anyway, um, my favorite German word, well not my favorite German word, but one of a, a really good German word is the word for gloves, which is Handschuhen. And the reason that Handschuhe is such a good word, because it literally translates to hand shoes, and they're gloves. Rosario beads, Rosario beads. Sorry if I've mispronounced your name. Um, I'm a big fan of your crafting video in general, thank you. Are you planning to make any Disney characters with delicate beads? I am, I have made two Disney characters so far. I've done an Eeyore Zum Zum pendant and I've done Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Um, those were both square stitch. I do plan on doing more. I have all the patterns made for Zum Zum. It's just getting around to doing it. <laughs> no excuse. Candy wear. Hi Hannah, hope you're well. Hey Candy, thanks for your order by the way. Um, I just love your work. Where do you see yourself in five years? Five years, so how old will I be in five years? I'll be 30. Hopefully I'll be in England and fingers crossed, I will have a tea room. If I don't have a tea room by then, hopefully I'm in a job that I enjoy. If I'm married and I have a child, bonus Jonas, bonus Jonas. If I don't, then that's also fine. You know, we're just rolling with the tides. Oh, hopefully I'll be in a job that I enjoy, doing what I love. Hopefully still being creative somehow. Five years, I can't believe I'm 30 in five years. Purpley paper cuts. If you could have a range of your, of your craft in any store, what would it be? I'd probably go for like an independent store just to support them. I can't think of any independent stores off the top of my head right now. Awesome Rach 101, if you could play any instrument, what instrument would you play? I would play the piano. I used to play the piano when I was younger, but I hated being forced to practice. So I stopped playing and I, it's one of the biggest regrets. Not biggest regrets, but it just makes me really sad because I could be amazing at piano by now. Live for crafts. Would you rather be able to speak every, would you rather be able to play every musical instrument or speak every language? I would actually rather speak every language because it would be far more useful and I feel really guilty when I travel to a different country and I can't speak the language, which I know is a stupid thing. But I feel like a lot of people look on English, native English speakers as being, not as being lazy, they probably don't think, I feel like England in particular is pretty lazy with language learning because although we have all these different languages within England and they all speak their language plus English, and that's amazing, I'm not hating on those. I'm talking about people like me, who didn't start learning a language until they were 12, and then it was far too grammar-based, and it was far too, it was taught to me in a way that was just like, no, this is wrong, no, this is wrong, no, this is wrong. Whereas, it's more important to get the grammar wrong and to get the point across than it is 
to say something perfectly. And it took me such a long time to realize that. I don't know, language learning wasn't easy for me. It's not easy for anyone, but I just stuck at it, which is more than a lot of English people think. Oh, well, they all speak English anyway, so what's the point in learning a language? Well, because actually quite a few people don't speak English. That's why. Pixel pills. Oh, we've got some either ors. Marks or coloring pencils. I'm going coloring pencils. Graphite pencil or ballpoint pen. Just a normal pencil. Creamy white paper or crisp white paper? White paper, definitely white paper. Silver or gold? I'm going to say silver. I wear a lot of silver jewellery, although my watch is gold and I don't have it on so I can't show you. Cats or dogs? That is definitely cats. As much as dogs can be adorable, but cats, I'm a cat person through and through. That is it. That is all my questions for that I'm going to answer. I've tried not to repeat any questions that I have already answered in previous. So if your question hasn't been answered, check out my other Q&A videos. You might have had an answer in there. Hope that you like this Q&A video and that it wasn't too boring or anything. <laughs> I don't know. The green hasn't faded from my hair once again. It is this camera. The green is very much there. Although it's kind of gone more turquoisey now than it was green. I might have to put some more back in, but yeah. This is four hair washers. That's not bad going, is it? I hope that you liked this video. If you did, thumbs up. You know the routine by now. And feel free to hit subscribe. I post new craft tutorial here in the corner of craft every Sunday. And then both post bonus videos in the week as well. Um, yeah, you get two bonus videos as well as a craft tutorial. And like I said, hopefully Sunday's tutorial will be a sewing tutorial. I am practicing that today. So we'll see if it works. If not, you will get a beaded Disney character. Life's a mystery. We live life on the edge in this world. Don't forget to check out the description box below to links for all of my social media accounts so that you can contact me there and you can be informed when I have another q and I'm tapping my phone like you can actually see it. Thank you once again for watching this video and I shall see you very soon in Sunday's video. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Hannah and today I am filming another plan with me because it's that time of the fortnight so this is my last week I went with a rainy theme because it rained quite a lot last week and um yeah I went with a rainy theme and I had these cute little umbrella stickers with hearts on because Valentine's Day and we ever so romantically went to a hockey game